Okay, welcome back to another segment of uh, the BYU Men's Basketball Media Day. I'm here with six foot eight senior big man Noah Hartsock. People butcher your name. It's like Hartstock all the time. I guess how do you deal with that? With people? You know, I, I, if it sounds right, I'll accept it. You know, a lot of people say Hartstock, mm -hmm. um, Hartstop, you know, whatever they want. But uh, as long as they get the H in there at the beginning of it, I'm fine with it. Yeah. It seems like just yesterday you got off your mission from Salt Lake City. Uh, from Oklahoma, Salt Lake City, and at BYU. Now you're a senior. Senior year, what do you expect from yourself and this team? You know, it, it's been a long journey. It's, it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for this year. Um, new challenge for us, new conference. Uh, we're just excited for it. And, you know, I'm excited for the year that I'm going to be able to have, you know, be a, be a leader and help this team win some games and, uh, you know, really just, just enjoy this last year that I have here. How was the summer? You, you take this trip to Greece. You sort of have time to decompress from the year that was, just mm -hmm. simply amazing, as that documentary that's going to come out later in the season is called. You go to Greece, now you get ready for a whole new chapter, as you mentioned, in the West Coast Conference. How, how was the summer for you? You know, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, last year was a great year, just the run we had, the national attention, um, just being with some of those teammates. And, it, you know, I, I found it really exciting just to get back and playing, you know, going to Greece, playing some games, playing against people that, you know, that, that are not our teammates. It was just a lot of fun doing that and, and just seeing how we are as a team, you know, post, you know, Jimmer and Jackson era. Absolutely. Uh, if you have a question for Noah Hartsock post the, or Noah Hartstock, Hartsop, whatever you want, post them on Facebook.com slash Sports. Jeff Murphy in New York says, how many threes will you be taking per game? Do you have Jimmer range now? You shot 43% from three last year. That was amazing. Well, Murph, let me tell you. I'll, you know, I'll just, that's part of my game now, so uh, you know, I don't know how many I'll make or how many I'll shoot, but you know, I, I, I assume it'll be pretty close to last year. And, and how, how did you get into taking threes? Because you're, like the, you're, the, you're a power forward, but you play mm -hmm. center. And I recall in that Fresno State game, there was like a buzzer-beating shot clock mm -hmm. three that you made. Did that set you off or something? That, that might have, yeah. I think just, um, just how things were going. Like Brandon, he was you know, playing a lot of low post, so that opened up a lot on the wing, especially you know, especially the way Jim would drive and dish. So uh, I just worked on it that summer, just spotting up. So uh, it just came, you know, after the you know, that summer of work, just came pretty natural. And then, you know, it's just been part of my game ever since. Should we expect more threes from you this year? Since you did shoot 43%. Uh, may, maybe. We'll see. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe two or three a game. Or, you know, just what the, the defense gives me. That's, that's what I'll end up doing. But you're a senior. You can say right now, set the tone, you know, like, hey, I will be open in the corner, DeMarcus Harrison, and go ahead and pass to the senior. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. You know, I'll tell him the pass, but no, we'll, we'll see how it goes, you know, whatever works happens. Okay. Michael Argyle in Washington says, uh, you were just crowned funniest by Brock. Who would you say is funnier than you? Well, uh, Mike Argyle, congratulations on your engagement. Hope your wedding goes well. And, All your uh, buddies posted on know. Facebook. Fantastic. <laughs> well, M Mike knows about some of my jokes, and my brother Nate, he actually gave me a joke book, 777 of them. Total jokes, not books. Books, total oh, okay. jokes. So, uh, you know, hopefully I can put them to good use this year. Do you have one that you can share with us? I don't, I don't have one, ex like, right now, but... Uh, okay. I didn't study and prepare for it. Okay, so. maybe like, we're gonna be season. here like all day. Yeah. So if you have time to go run back and bring one, we can we can have you jump. I'll in work on that. that. Yeah. Okay. Nolan Mickelson, another buddy, or just random person? I probably should know, but I don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> have you always been able to shoot the three, or is it just something that you developed last year? Um, Good question. Yeah, that's um. When I was in uh, eighth grade on our eighth grade basketball team, I was probably like the fifth or sixth tallest, so I had to learn to shoot outside a little bit. And, you know, also playing with tall brothers. All my brothers were taller than me. And so I had to learn how to shoot outside a little bit. And so I was in high school, I shoot about 16, 17 foot jumpers. And then I just expanded a little bit. And I think that's, you know, just been part of me growing up, just shooting a little bit outside and just expanding this past year. The Hardsock name is well connected with BYU Athletics. Uh, I guess Lindsay Hardsock. Uh, mm -hmm. And remind me, she married your brother my brother ben yeah okay she was a women's volleyball player and she was awesome your wife kendallin's currently on the women's volleyball mm -hmm. team you're an avid follower at the games we see you a ton on BYU TV. <laughs> maybe she, you're probably on more than she is to be honest but what uh what's that experience like supporting your wife and how busy are you guys um you know it's a busy time right now especially she's in conference right now and we're starting practice and uh 
you know, it's sometimes her trips take long, like four or five days at a time she's gone. So it's tough. Um, you know, we usually wake up together, but then we don't get home till six o'clock. So um, then we do homework after that. So it's a little rough right now, but as soon as, you know, we get and start playing in her season, you know, it gets a little bit more easier. And summer's a good time for us that we're home a lot. We take trips together and, and that's, that's when we're able to enjoy time together. With you, Chris Collinsworth, and Brandon Davies, how, how awesome will that front court be this year for BYU? You know, that's a lot of experience. You know, Brandon, it's great to have him back. Um, provides some great depths inside. You know, he's a great low post scorer, great 15-foot jump shot. Um, I think that's going to open up a lot for us because it's, it's going to be hard to double, you know, either me, Chris, or Brandon down low because we're, we're also great passers. We'll be able to find each other down low, and, and we're also very good on one-on-one. -on -one. So I think that's really, you know, one of our strengths this year is the down low game. Daniel Nelson in Washington, D.C. asks, what's your favorite Dave Rose quote? Uh, favorite Dave Rose quote probably be just run. Just be in practice, run, run. And that's the tempo we like to play at. And, you know, especially beginning of practice, you know, our first few drills are just getting up and down court. And, and Coach Rose, he'll, he'll emphasize it by, you know, giving us some encouragement to get up and down. And he would know, playing for five slam and jump. Yeah. <laughs> he, he ran. We run. With Noah Hartsock, if you have a question for him, post it on Facebook.com slash BYU TV Sports. Nolan Mickelson has another one. He says, is your little brother going to come to BYU and play? Um, well, we'll see. You know, he, he really likes here. Um, you know, I know the coach has been out and watched him play a couple times, and uh, he'll be entering his junior year. Um, you know, he has offers from, I know, from Missouri State. I know Utah's looking at him, Utah State as well. So, uh, so who, who knows where I end up? Um, hopefully, he ends up here because I know he really likes it. So, um, you know, I'm gonna hopefully go home this summer and work out with him a little bit and try to help him out. And but he's, he's a good basketball player, so well, he'll end up D1. But we'll just see where. Are you still better than him? I can still take him. But I was surprised last time I played with him. He actually was able to make some moves and make some shots. Because last time I played with him, he was like seventh grade. So <laughs> he got a little better. You hadn't played with him since seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Noah, uh, Bill Hoop says, have you ever blocked Blake Griffin? And if so, what did you say to him after you did? <laughs> did you play against him in high school? We did, yeah. So, um, yeah, I did block him. But uh, I have to also mention that he um, had a very nice dunk over me. Someone shot it, and he was at the three-point line. I'm underneath the basket. I'm thinking, well, he's not going to come rebound this. Shot came off. I jump up. But he just jumps over me and just throws it down two hands. Um, it, it was pretty impressive. So. Okay. Everyone's used to it now. Everyone in the league is dunked on. So. Uh, last year, there were some tremendous signs in the stands. BYU fans brought it. You know, those signs <laughs> were fantastic. Can we expect any awesome signs from your family this year? What's the best sign you've seen? Oof. You know, I, I think we'll, you know, we'll see some really good signs. Um, you know, my family like to be creative. I remember against the Florida game, they talked about me and Joakim Noah a little bit, how I was better looking than him. Um, so, I, you know, I, I hope there will be some good signs. You know, I don't know what to expect, but I'm sure. All, always promising at BYU. Okay. What is, uh, as you've practiced, in, I guess, informally and somewhat formally during the summer with this team, what can fans expect in the post-Jimmer Jackson era with this group of guys? You know, I, I think it's going to be a lot of, a lot, lot more teamwork. Um, you know, I think we could see a different leading score every night. Uh, you know, there's probably five or six different people on this team who can step up and, and average double digits. Uh, you know, Brock was able in Greece, you know, lead the team scoring at 17 a game. And, you know, last year he wasn't able, you know, get in there just because of lines of things. But, I mean, he's a great scorer. Uh, you know, Brandon, Charles, myself, Steven Rogers, you know, he can shoot the ball when he's shooting well. You know, he could put up big numbers. Uh, Matt Carlino can step in, you know, and score for us. And, you know, I, I just think this. This team has a lot of a lot of options, a lot of depth than it has in the past couple of years. Tell us about Nate Austin and Ian Harward, who have come off missions and are big men, uh, and they'll mm -hmm. see some possibly see some time behind you guys if they don't redshirt. But what what are they like? Yeah, they're um, they're both you know athletic big men. Um, Ian is probably one of the best runners I've ever seen. He can really get up and down the court. Um, you know, he's really fundamental down low. Um, you know, he, he's strong for his size, and, you know, I expect him, you know, to make a contribution this year. And, and Nate, I mean, he's, he's a really good shot walker. He's so long. Um, you know, reminds me a lot of what James Anderson could do. 
you know, who could get in there and block shots, you know, change things up and, you know, can really score down low. And, you know, it's going to be a big help for us, you know, have two 6'11 guys down low and, and really changing up the game for us. What about some of these, these new guys on the wing as you replace Jimmer and Jackson and replace them with any combination of several guys? Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be a hard thing, especially with, you know, Jimmer scoring and what he did and, and also Jackson's defensive and uh, leadership abilities. I mean, we're going to miss that a lot. And, you know, Charles, he's a great defensive player, and I think he helped us in there. And, you know, right now, um, you know, our backcourt, since Jimmer Jackson played a lot last year, it's a little bit of an experience, but, you know, I think that great trip really helped us, you know, with, with Craig Cusick and, and, you know, Brock Silstra. I mean, they were able to step up a lot. And, and, you know, when Matt gets eligible, I think that's really going to help us a lot, you know, because we're going to have a lot of players playing that position right now, especially the beginning of the year, to find out, you know, who we can trust and who's going to be able to fill those voids from last year. Okay. Well, good stuff, Noah. Appreciate the time. Best no of luck with uh, the season. Thank you so much. Next up, Craig Cusick, one of those point guards in the mix Cusick. to start this year. We'll chat with him. Post your questions to facebook.com slash Sports. We'll be back in a moment for Men's Basketball Media Day.